Wow, so your boy Judge Six Nines, baby mum, and his girlfriend Jade have been in some next beef, so I'll take you through it. It started off with Jade, his current girlfriend, posting up a bust down some goofy <laughs> some goofy bust down troll necklace. I can't lie though. Obviously it's bust down alright, but what's that that hair man? That hair ain't the one. How are you gonna spend two three hundred racks? <laughs> 300 grand on this ice piece bust down ice piece but it's got some cheap ass tacky pink hair on man now nah, that's not the one i don't know about you and that's not the one if i was spending that much money in fact i wouldn't spend that much money i'd buy a fucking crib in it but if i was <laughs> it wouldn't have no tacky pink hair on it but each to their own i guess when you got that kind of money you just buy a whole bag of shit anyway but anyway listen so Six nine in the pen, three six nine, three judge six nine home soon. Of lockdown, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so obviously he's locked up. Three judge six nine. He's bought his girlfriend Jade a bust down troll necklace. So she posted up. Damn, I wanted Minnie Mouse because you're Mickey Mouse, but this troll doll is fine, I guess. Merry Christmas, baby. Thank you. These chicks though not ungrateful, aren't they? I wanted Minnie Mouse. Are you mad? I've just dropped 100 racks about you wanted Minnie Mouse. Never mind that. I'll tell you what you will want. You'll be getting a dicky. Never mind no Minnie Mousey. You'll be getting... <laughs> That's what you will be getting about a wanted Mickey Mouse. You'll be getting a dicky mouse. That's all you need to be worrying about. Yeah? About a wanted Mickey Mouse. Egypt. Listen. So as I said. Jade got this gift. She posted it up on the gram. Obviously Sarah Molina misses... I don't want no child support anyway. I don't want nothing from that bum ass nigger. She then posts up. She takes this as a, as a bit of a. She took this video message and Instagram post from the bus down troll necklace as a bit of a. What do you call it? She took it as a shade essentially. She thought that Jade was throwing smoke. So then. Sarah Molina posts some long emotional message deep in her feelings. And I guess to be fair. When you've got his baby, you're thinking, I've got his baby. Jade hasn't even, he hasn't even bred Jade yet. But Jade's getting bust down necklace. And I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting, what's she, I'm getting, what do they call it? I'm getting Christmas turkeys from the, from the local, what's that charity place in the US? What do they call it? I forgot what it's called. In the US, they've got some sort of charity place where they hand out turkeys at Christmas. That's what, Sarah Molina's thinking, wait there a minute. My man, look, Six nine ain't even bred Jade yet, and she's getting handed out bust down two hundred grand necklace. Meanwhile, I'm out here begging for a Christmas turkey. Yeah, so she's she's deep in them feelings. She comes out and says, "Any bitch that stands by a nigger who don't take care of his kids is a corny, weak bitch. Bitch, you not as a you not you not as important to me as you think. My problem isn't with you." I always made my issue about him not being a father, not what he does for you and your daughter, even and your daughter who ain't even his dummy. These these people, man, they need to learn to have to write English. Their English is off key. Yeah, if you're gonna have Instagram beefs, at least come correct with the English. Know your know you place. Know you see what I mean? They're lacking. Know you place. Know your place. I never had an issue with you. You doing exactly what bitches like you do. But mind your fucking business. I don't comment on you. I comment on the bum I had a kid with. Don't act bold now. Don't do it. No, don't do it. And next time, at me. So she's saying basically, like I said, she thought that the, that the, that the goofy troll video was about her. And she's all deep. She's deep in them feelings. Sarah Moline is burning. Like I said, listen, I'd be, I'd be burning too if I bred someone, yeah, and I was getting squat for it. But next chick was getting bust down troll necklaces for fun. I'd be deep in the feelings too. However, I have said before, Sarah Molina, rather than getting, rather than letting the whole, the whole of Trayway run a train on you, why didn't you just go and collect child support payments? From 6 9 then you can stop moaning. This is one thing I don't rate about these particular baby mums. They moan about, oh man, I don't need a nigger for nothing. I don't need that nigger. He a bum ass nigger. I don't need that nigger. They, they, they say they don't need him. 
And then they moan about, oh, oh, he's a bum-ass dude who don't look after his kid. What? Make your mind up. Either you want the money or you don't. Either way, if you don't want the money, I respect that. But you can't decline, you can't decline the money and then complain about it. Oh, man, oh, oh I don't want the money, but he a bum-ass. One or the other, yeah? Either you're a true boss bitch who don't need no money from no one, and I respect that. If you're a true boss who don't want nothing from no one, I respect that, but keep your mouth shut, don't be complaining, otherwise, you can't, you're not a boss, if you're, if you're constantly moaning about something, you ain't a boss, you come across sour and bitter, which is what you're doing now, because, Jay got the bust down necklace, and all of a sudden, you're on the gram, vexed as you like, angry as you like, complaining about what ain't right, oh man, he a bum ass dude, any, any man who don't look after his kids, now I agree, if you do breed kids and you're and you're a bum ass dude, you're a bum ass dude. However, one thing I will say to Sarah is that you knew he was this kind of cat anyway. Let's not get it twisted. When you when you breed Pookie and Ray Ray, that's what you get. Yeah, I don't know what you expected. He was whooping on you and all this kind of stuff beforehand. So what was you thinking? I'm not sure what you kind of you gotta make your bed. If when you make your bed, you gotta lie in it. Simple as that. Every, people trying to blame everyone else for you. Even say it here yourself. Oh, um, I don't comment on you. I comment on the bum I had a kid with. Well, what'd you have a kid with him for then? People got to start taking responsibility for their fucking actions out here. And she says here about any bitch that stands by a nigger who don't take care of his kids is a corny, weak... Oh, well, that same... You can call her corny, but... You're corny too for breeding him. <laughs> you was in that same situation Jade was in. See what I mean? Before you bred, before you bred him, you was the same as her. You was the same corny person being with a corny dude. So you're just kind of sour that you're not the main one anymore. Yeah, simple as that, no doubt. And you can sit here arguing. I suggest, and this makes me laugh. Obviously, to be fair to both of them, the only reason both of them are known, Jade or Sarah, they're only known. Well, to be fair, Sarah is more known because she she got the train ran by the whole of Trayway. So she got some more notoriety. She's known for having a train run on her. But apart from that, not talking, dis discounting the train that Shotty ran on her, Shotty and the whole and the nine trays ran on her. Discounting that, they're all known from six nine anyway. The only reason they've got eight hundred thousand, one million followers on the gram is because of six nine. So she best be grateful. They both best be grateful because they wouldn't be living how they're living now without the six nine. Regardless, yeah. So, that's one thing, you can call him corny, you can call him a bum-ass dude, but that bum-ass dude got you one million Instagram followers, and we know them brand deals, when you've got a million followers, one post is worth like five, ten grand. So, they're making big bank. Think about it, if you post once a month, and get paid ten grand, <laughs> that's, that's hundred grand a year, from putting one post out. So, let's get, let's be real now. About you, you, be grateful. Listen, I'd, I'd get bread. Six, I, I wish six nine would come and breed me. I'll spread my cheeks for ten grand a month. No problem at all. My chi the, your boy the YB's, your boy, your boy the YB's cheeks will be spread for ten G's a month. No problem at all. I'm on, I'm on my knees now. Cheeks are spread nicely, and these are women. Women are complaining. Listen, you spread your cheeks, which you was doing anyway. Look at Sarah for example. Sarah's complaining. About getting bred by 6 9 You were spreading your cheeks for free. For the whole of the 9 trays. The 9 trays was running through there anyway. Yeah. And you were doing that for free. With no clout. Then man won't give you no clout. So at least you can do. 6 9 came through. Blessed you with a million followers. And you want to be complaining about it. Nah man. That can't work. That can't work at all. Anyway. Last thing. So after that what happened. Jade clapped back and said the following. A baby mama. Is a deadbeat. She believes a baby is supposed to make him stay and tries to use the baby against him and also make him and his relationship miserable. She believes she has a point to prove. A mother doesn't care about her baby that is personal life nor spends time trying to manipulate him. She puts her child first and handles her business. Either you're there or you're not. And this is what I was talking about. I do agree with it. I don't agree with some of the things about the... But I do agree that if you want to be a boss, yeah, 
which people talk about. Sarah talks about, oh, I'm a boss, I'm a, I, I, I do it all myself. If you want to be that girl, I do respect that. Like I said, I don't knock that at all. If you really are a boss and you don't want nothing to do with that bum-ass dude, I 100% respect that. But don't do... Don't be sitting in the middle. Don't be oh, I'm a, don't be talking about how you're a boss, but then complaining that he's a deadbeat. If he's a deadbeat, say, you know what? He's a deadbeat. I'm leaving him where he is and keep it moving. But it seems to be, and I understand, they both want more clout. So they know that they, they don't have any, they're not known. They don't have, they don't bring any value to anything without 6 9 Sarah and Melina knows the only way people are going to tune in to me is if I'm moaning about 6 9 Because what else are you going to moan about? She can't moan about, oh man, shoddy. Or she can't moan about the other unknown members of the 9 trays who ran through her. Don't no one care about that. If she comes online and starts moaning about how shoddy ran through her and didn't do this and didn't do that. No one don't care. People want to hear about what 6 9 did and didn't do. And that's where she finds herself in a predicament. Because no one's interested in the other 20 man from the 9 trays who ran through her for free. They want to hear about the 6 9 That said, Jade needs to be careful because she's acting pretty now. She's sitting pretty now getting 200 grand troll necklaces. And all it's all fun and games for her now. But how it works is, in this industry, nothing lasts forever. Never mind when you're with the judge 6 9 Meaning that... She's best be careful that she don't get bread. Jade is fixing to get bread soon, and she'll be in the same in, in a few years' time when sit when Judge Six Nine set free. She'll be sitting in the same situation that Sarah and Melina was in, where he breeds <laughs> Six Nine is gonna breed breed Jade up and then move on to the next one, and she's gonna be sitting there. Oh man, Six Nine's a bum ass dude. So it's easy when you're the main one, when you're in fashion, it's easy to be like pointing fingers at other baby mums. Or, or, or at his other baby mums. Let's see how you react when you're in that situation. Either way, the moral of the story is, know what you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a road man, yeah? If you're dealing with a bum-ass dude, it's horses for courses. Don't be breeding no bum-ass dude. And 6 9 to be fair to him, I don't think he is a bum-ass dude. He's got money. If you want to take him to sh child support and collect, it's there. But don't be, don't cut your hand and spite your face or whatever they say. It's like Jay, Sarah and Melina wants to, oh, I'm not going to claim child support. I'm just going to moan on the gram every day. Come on, man. Fix up. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Comment, like, subscribe. And your boy will be back. Trap, trap.